So I am making a second video to tie some of the concepts that we learned in our education class with my own music box metaphor for education. And the first uh, feature that I talked about was the music box's structure and how that's necessary for, an for gaining an education. And the thing about structure is I think it's really key to use Vygotsky's zone of proximal development in judging what each student is needs and is capable of so we're not handing work that's too easy or too hard that they feel in debilitating anxiety with. And also with that zone of proximal development, applying it in our teaching, it'll help us to know what scaffolding we can also apply in our teaching so that we avoid learned helplessness and we can use the intrinsic motivation to kind of help with with the student, you know, completing their work. But at the same time, we want to have them eventually become intrinsically motivated to to learn for themselves. But it might be necessary for the at least the beginning structure of your class to apply some in extrinsic motivation along with your scaffolding. Then we talked about the the gears and we talked about how they represent the connections in the brain. And those really it to make those connections it's really important to tie learn and familiarize familiarize yourself with each student's scheme and schema on the subject you're teaching. Ask questions, figure it out that way you can use appropriate prototypes to make even more connections as they're learning and hopefully that interest that you show in them will make them interested in the subject and thus bring out that intrinsic motivation that we want them to, to have. And then they'll become their own master, own master learners and they'll embrace learning because they want to learn and they, don't, they won't feel defeated by school. Also, we talked about the, um, the glass and the sound box and how the glass gives us perspective in seeing the gears or the connections in motion and the sound box produces the best quality that we can get. And so it's important that we tie that quality into perspective by teaching students how to seek after that, that which is reliable and valid will be able to avoid the misconceptions that can arise and they'll be able to rely on their own intuition as they keep learning and as new material is presented to them. And they won't be they will be able to avoid being having experiencing debilitating anxiety and they'll be able to have facilitating anxiety instead, which is good to have a little pressure. Um, so much that they can rise to the occasion. Also, we talked about this little guy, which we had to wind up to be able to play the music box. We know we have to wind and work hard to get our education through study and intrinsic motivation. And so I think it, it really ties into our cognitive domain to be able to remember and retain things. So we need to exercise that and also to to not be overcome with our effective domain, that our students will be able to be in an environment where they won't be hindered um, by their emotions, but they'll be able to, to rely on the cognitive and also the psychomotor domain, that they've done this before, they've worked out this problem before, they, they'll be able to rely on that training as they approach new material and say, well, I've done this part before, so I can, I can do the rest. And that actually ties into the fact that we talked about how important it is to, to open the music box to appreciate it, to appreciate our education. We also need to, to provide an environment where our students can open their mouths to ask questions, to clarify, and that they can develop self-efficacy uh, self and self-esteem um, so that they're they believe in themselves and they're proud of themselves and that their self-concept is strong and solid and that they'll be able to teach the world what they learn and they'll be able to make 
self-efficacy and self-esteem contagious behaviors as opposed to just being rambunctious in the classroom. They'll, they'll want to be there and they'll want to learn and they'll want to share what they've learned. And so that are just some of, those are just some of the concepts that I thought tied in perfectly to my music box metaphor for education. I just, I think that there's so much that could tie in more, but those are just a few to start. Thanks.